Right, I want to play some of stuff. You have the right to remain silent. Well, I need to hear that again. So you and the wife, my silent. That's the Hayabusa. You the Musa that killed Mufasa Busa. Mold them all. I didn't get that guy? Wow. <coughs> okay, Estelle. Let's go. Mad, you like Mistel. Um, <laughs> you like Mistel, don't you, Mad? Mistel and a mod? Nah, this is the normal game. It was the final achievement, beat the game with a spell. Other Estelle mains in the gang. Yeah, welcome back, Persian. Wait, you're all Estelle mains? You're letting me butcher your character like this? Estelle, kill something, my god. Jesus. Cool. Four air grenades in a row. Hey. Oh, 
Oh yeah, no problem, Persian. I just don't want any uh, spoilers. I've waited long enough for the patch. I don't want it ruined at the last minute. Do you do any of that sort of attack? Hmm. Not really worth because of the... Like, eight damage. Eight damage back attack. <laughs> what? Adams does 20. Blazes doesn't do much, but it leads to everything. Have we got an extra life yet? Nope. Hey. I assume this is just bait, grab board, special. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I was dead then. She could have comboed and killed me that. Almost got out of that. <laughs> what? <laughs> the time is fire in the hole. Yeah, we got a bit of a fire in the hole issue going on right now. Katie. Okay, 10-9, 10, 9, 10 9 on the uh, fire in the hole dilemma right now. You can sort that out, please. That was like turning up at work this morning, right? That's basically the reaction. Fire in the hole, KT, KT. You should have been like, Jesus, they're firing the hole or something? What's going on here this morning? Oh, oh. Damn, she's a ping pong player. Okay. I'd like to play the ping pong. Okay. Score. Give me all that score, because we're slug. Oh no. No, it can't let me have it. Oh. Just don't want a game over. Katie's in charge of the fire in the hole. Actually, I think Chakram should be in charge of the fire in the hole because he had that curry that time. Remember when Chak has had that curry and he couldn't sit properly because his ass was on fire? I remember that. Maybe Chakas is the fire in the hole chief after all. how to play her though, like, how are you? Yeah. 
she's supposed to like grab all the time or something? Is that how you play? You just do a load of like chucking around? Scooby Doo to investigate. Shaggy driving the van or Fred. Always thought that was crazy. Like they always let the stoner drive. No wait, did Shaggy? Yeah, Shaggy was driving it, right? Why they got the stoner driving the van, man? It's <laughs> like munching out of his mind, and that guy's driving in charge of the vehicle. Come on. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what was going to get him there. Uh... Okay. When Randy took the biggest stamp, he went, Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> but I thought I had the record, Daddy. No, Bono, you are the record. <laughs> I, lo I love the South Park celebrity characters, man. Isn't isn't there a bit in that episode where Bono's like singing? He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, hello, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, they just nail it so well in that show. <clears throat> I don't get how people can't like South Park. Like, if you like cartoons, surely you like South Park, man. I can understand if someone didn't like cartoons, per se. I took it back in 16. <laughs> oh, it's when he was helping the poor people in Africa. Yeah, that, that is it. Yeah, I can picture it now. <laughs> oh. Wait, someone said you can do that infinite on mission. Wow. Am I dead? Yeah, yeah, feeling good on a Wednesday. I need a little bit of shelter. And then I put on the auto tune and bam, 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 feeling good on a Wednesday. Oh, yeah, yeah, feeling good on a Wednesday. <laughs> Anyone need a little bit of show? 
Cash that in. Oh, wow. It gets everyone. Okay, except for the anti uh, weasels. me. I don't know why. I thought that grenade would somehow save me. You like South Park's World of Warcraft episode? Yeah, that was good. How do you kill that which has no life? <laughs> I like Mr. Mackey. Yeah, no boot marks allowed, okay. People lose their mind when they when you say that, Katie. <laughs> I'm trying to get her out. That may be impossible. No idea how to get her on that wall, man. I've got no idea at all. That knocked her down. That knocked her away. Recovery too much, too hot to handle. Oh, okay, throwing's good. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yeah, what's up, TDX? Hey Chris the Geek, Bowman, welcome back, what's up? Mm -hmm. 
I like when they legalize weed and Randy's like... No, wait. You've got to have, like, cancer or something to, to get a weed permit. So he's just immediately trying to give himself cancer. <laughs> he's, like, sunbathing in the garden with, like, some metal pointed at his balls. <laughs> Oh, he's so good. <clears throat> he's one of the best cartoon characters, man. He uses the microwave, yeah, and he stood up on that little chair. Wait, no iframes? Has he still got a weird jump timing I don't know about? Probably. Okay, we can't be having that, can we? What are you trying now? The infinite? Did you change your bindings or...? <clears throat> oh, ulfs, TDX. Big ulfs. Stan, could you get that a little bear? Stan? What's the episode where, like, Randy is a game addict and he's playing that like chase the dragon game I remember that one being making me laugh as well he's like he's just led on the couch in his pants like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> come on catch me catch me come on oh. and then Stan turns off the uh, the computer the console he's like no then what are you doing? This, I am your father, Stanley. <laughs> Put it back on. <laughs> proper like proper getting withdrawal from the dragon game straight away. Oh. Heroin Hero. <laughs> Is that the name of the game? Oh. You need practice so you can tell it's going to help. Yeah, the only other option is just like triple wall bounce combo. Blitz into an ender, into star, into OTG, into another like mediocre combo. I'll still do like 60% if you learn it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do in signals really.
think you boys could get this infinite pretty easy, you know? <clears throat> the ones that said they couldn't. The only hard bit is the start. The, uh, the first two... The first two grenades and the first jab. Then it's kind of just the same... Same pattern over again. <laughs> Alright, Persian. See you later, mate. Adam tap. Boot boots. She doesn't actually need it. I bet you can infinite off that as well, just a normal combo. Oh, whoops. She can get jabbed after it? Okay. This guy's a bit keen, isn't he? V4 axle strats. For God's sake. Honestly. Okay. Damn, man. <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to get through it, to be honest. Mm, legs are too attractive. What, Estelle's? Like the Estelle legs? gonna try and rob a life pair. <clears throat> Look at them all. Yeah. Let's 
trying, it's trying to get it. It's trying to get it. It's not having it. Fire in the hole. Oh, wow, that linked. What the? Grenade stuff, right? I mean, back up. <clears throat> down, now, 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 now. <laughs> KT with a fire remote. Why is she saying it differently each time? Oh no! Oh! She's dabbing! Not now! Not now! Don't dab now! Oh! What the freaking who's that? Who's over there? Freaking dabbing! What was she doing? Why is she, what's she doing that for? Ga! 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 That that's the sound of a desperate boss trying to take your life. Ga! 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 He's on like zero health, he's done nothing the whole fight. Just one chance and he just goes berserk. Absolutely insane on me. Ah, oh, we're so dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. Don't know what to do. Just grab stuff. Grab stuff. Yeah, yeah. Bait stuff. Grab it. Can't grab that. We're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. We're so dead! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! Well, that actually works. It's a pretty cool move, then, actually. On the ground. Get on the ground. Got this? Yeah, I hope so, Mad. Not too good with the style. What's she, Chris Redfield? Eat it! Remember the Chris Redfield mad in Marvel 3? 
Eat it. Fire in the hole. It, yeah, it's Chris Redfield. He says fire in the hole. Okay, that Ben is absolutely okay. Still going, isn't he? Oh, oh. Badrick zero subs to the hashtag mighty gang. Fire in the hole, mighty balloons free. No, don't associate me with that. <laughs> yo, Pedrito, yo, cheers for the a 18 months, my god. Yo, cheers, dude, how you doing? Got the fish out for you. Remember that mod we did with the Estelle? When we changed the grenade to the fish? Remember that? You would jump and throw fishes. <laughs> Two babies? That is true. This is our second child. Because the second that you gave birth to the first one, uh, we immediately reconceived the second one on the same night, believe it or not, everyone. Anyway, I mustn't die here. Thanks for the uh, 18 months. <laughs> oh, it's not that funny. It's not that funny, mate. Please get something. Come on. Come on. Just win, Estelle. Just win. Can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. I have no idea how you're meant to set up anything on these. Probably with that move, because it has eye frames, right? Estelle runs, yeah, we're going for world record Estelle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <clears throat> down, down, down. Oh. Give me that. It's the last achievement, Chackers. Beat the game of Estelle. Who's gonna end it? This guy. This guy's gonna end it. Yeah. <laughs> he went, yeah! The Van Dam fans, those two Gaussians. Get out. <laughs> he got knocked out twice. Oh my god. I 
achievement stands rage. Oh, wait, you haven't you already put 200 hours into Elden Ring? It's the last one, Chakas. Come on, bro. Oos, oos, oos. Where are you going? Running away. Where are you going? Running away. Running away. Come on, come on, he's one shot. Oops. Eat this. <laughs> Trophies, yes. Achievements, nah. Uh can you can you get him here? Not on zero health you can't. Ah, oh, you'd have to do a move that's um not techable like that, okay. I don't think he can tech Estelle's back throw. That's the only way you would infinite him is back throw, this, 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 and then, yeah. We need, uh, we need more life though, boys. More lives. That juicy money, get that juicy money. <laughs> what was that noise? Yeah. <laughs> trophies, the greatest achievement. Yeah, the mighty tawny trophies. Probably another tournament at the end of the month, boys. Probably do Mania. Uh, Mania Plus. We might just. Might do a Mania Tourney. Well, the trouble is, if I do Mania Plus, I get all the people that are going to complain about it. Like, the casuals can't complete it. You know, it's too difficult for people that don't play 8,000 hours a week. But then if I do easy, I'm just going to get like, wait, we just had an easy tournament. You can't do two easy tournaments in a row. So then I end up just doing nothing. And then it... It, it, then, then, but then you've got all the people saying, "Where's his Tonya man?" So I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I just feel like a Tony at the end of the month in in order. <clears throat> okay. Boot them all. Boot them all. Easy Tawny for you is harder than Mania Plus. How is Easy harder when you've got nine lives? <laughs> An infinite iframe spam. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Oh shit, she ain't got the jump. She ain't got the jump. Oh, she ain't got. She's got all weird stuff. What the hell is? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. Do it.
Uh, I think something that's what you pay me for. Wait, you haven't paid me anything. He's on the free loader account. What are you on about? Uh, to easy equals mania plus mania plus equals easy. Uh, what do you mean, like? Do you find it easier on Mania Plus speedrunning wise just because of the uh, I think I know what you mean. Like easy enemies running away and stuff, right? And AFKing and. Well, the trouble is, no matter what I do, someone's gonna be annoyed. If I do easy, it's gonna be annoying to the like top players. If I do Mania Plus, Major won't enter, and then it's gonna annoy half the people that don't like Mania Plus. If I do, if I do no tourney, people are just gonna keep harassing me every single time I say hello to another streamer. <clears throat> hey, Nevermore. Yeah, Bill. When's your tourney? Alright, I fuck it. See ya, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bill, I just got one question. Where's the tourney at? Bill! Where's the tourney? Are you kidding me? I can't even get you to fill in the fucking form properly, dude. You can't even spell your own name correctly. You can't even put the right game over. So where it says zero, you put zero. You can't even fill it in. Golden Axe, he cheated. Cheated the last tournament. We had to change the winner to redo the cup. You boys are lucky if you get a tourney after what I have to deal with. I got Obby upside. I'm trying to get Obby to freaking fix something at last minute. He's upside down in his wardrobe asleep because it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And that's what Dracula does. And then I've got a. Uh, I've got all the people that haven't been able to submit in the four days that I've given them to do their little one run and not enough time. No, can I submit on Tuesday, Bill? What, five days after the tournament? <laughs> then we got then we got people running the tournament. We got people running uh, who are doing runs that don't submit. I'm looking at Jay Miller, I'm looking at Doc tonight, I'm looking at Hong. Hong ran the tournament last time. Didn't submit until like Monday at 1pm. And then you got people going on and on and on and on and on about the tourney and then they don't even run it. Alright, okay. <laughs> Do I put a decimal or a comma? Yeah, someone was putting French commas instead of colons. Like, what is going on, boys? Someone had a 12-hour stage three. <clears throat> Some guy wanted us to check... Do you remember? Some guy wanted us to check all his stages. Who was that? Who was... Do you remember that? I think I put stage 4 in wrong. Can you just, like, interrupt the results at number 25 and go and check my document and then run it by my VOD that's, that's private? Can't even watch the video. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, things are good, Sai. How you doing, mate? We're just deciding, Sai, if we're doing a tourney at the end of the month or not. And I don't know. Yeah, I can't decide. I mean, I want to do one, but I don't know what one to do. I might do something completely different, you know? Maybe it isn't going to be 12 stages. Who knows? Maybe something else. <laughs> oh my god. We had like 20 goblins infiltrate in the last tournament as well. Do you remember Hong's tournament? For that Philippines 
gaming company or whatever they are. Tawny organizers. Remember that? <clears throat> On like one of the... F he made this... <laughs> yeah, play that sax, baby. Oh, he made this... Uh... He made this little, like, poster, right, with the basic rules. And it literally said on it, no mods. Some Skate 3 player turns up. Bl He's all in blue. He's running around like Marty McFly. And I'm like, yo, ban that guy, dude. And Hong was whispering in me and uh, OD's ears. You couldn't hear him in the tourney. And he's like, uh, should we ban this guy? Or like, we should just let it go, right? And I'm like, Hong, it's not even my tournament, dude. What are you talking about? It's against the rules. This guy's running around as blue skate. He's got all these mods. It says no mods. And now we're having a discussion on whether to eliminate him or not. Anyway. Who was the guy that did, like, stage one 38 times in a row with Blaze? Was that J-Dot? Was that you? <laughs> Who was the guy that... You got two resets before the phone booth, right? And some guy's like, nah. I'm just gonna keep resetting until I get the perfect stage one. You just... <laughs> it was some Blaze player, dude. Resetting one for like 50 minutes. You get one attempt, bro. What's going on here? <laughs> oh. Oh. This one's getting jabbed. This one's getting jabbed. Ugh. Worth. I don't care. Worth. Oh, the poison! No! Get out of there, Estelle! Oh! Okay. Um, yeah, what's up, it's a Luna. Hey, talk. Say tournament, sign me up. Yeah, dra see, Dragon Dragon runs the tourney, no problem. I just don't know if we're gonna do easy or Mania Plus or something different. I'm feeling like doing something a little bit different, boys. I don't know what yet though. Oh, by the way, Bradio is also doing a tournament on Streets Streets of Rage 2 at the end of the month, if you guys haven't heard or are interested. All you gotta do is get this specific emulator, go to this website, create an account, get a unique password, uh, log into the site, find the ROM page, which is in French, go get the correct ROM, which is a mod created by someone, and it's a hacked version, Get that, run it on the emulator, get the BIOS, get the patches, get the sound drivers, put them all in the right folders, and then uh, record your run and then submit it. That's all we gotta do. I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be simpler than that. I'm I'm joking. I think it'd just be get a ROM and an emulator and that's it. Then you got my tournament, it's just like turn up, you got four days. And we still we've we've still only got like a what an 80% success rate. <laughs> we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead, we're dead. There's too much ants here. It's too much, it's too much! Oh! 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 Am I alive? Am I alive? I don't know how. 
I don't know how, man. Whew. Nah, it's not gonna be that bad. I'm only messing. He hasn't released the details. The details yet, though. Oh. I don't know, there's something about Estelle that I kind of like, dude. I don't know if it's her hair, her legs, what. Definitely something I like about this character, haven't played it a little bit now. I'm scared. Could have neutral jumped that, but you know. You know. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't want to die there, but, you know. Hopefully we can get to the end. Ja. She's a hottie. She's not bad. I mean, she's no Blaze. She's no South American Blaze, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I don't know, I don't actually know which way I'm going, like, half the time. <laughs> this grab mechanic's really funky. Bootmark doesn't go out, does it? I think you're safe to bootmark ledges in the style. Jesus! Just drop those fools like they were nothing. She swings high in the hole and eat this. Yeah, exactly, man. Bigger boobs. Now Max has got the boobs. Look at those two chicks in the background loving it. Yo, Max! Yo, Max! What's up? There's Geordie in the crowd on the right there. That guy pointing. That's Geordie. He's saying, uh, we don't know when the patch gonna be. We don't know. Uh, we, need, we need licensing, uh, language translation. Uh, uh, so makes that noise a little bit. Oh, oh. Patch requested, Geordie. He's not even pointing at the right place. He's pointing at the floor. Uh, we're gonna get hit on wake up. No. Yeah, I didn't know whether to grenade and then die or die and then grenade. Didn't know which order to do it in.
This is it. This is the run right here. This is the one. The Rousey judo throws. You know what's crazy? It's a Luna about MMA. Is that people are getting so good at it now. Like, this is ridiculous, right? When was UFC 1? 1994 or something? So the, U the, the, the mixed martial art cage fighting begins, right? UFC 1. And it's just... It's just the Gracies owning everyone, right? Like, the jujitsu, if they get you on the floor, you can't do anything, you've lost, right? And they, that goes on for, like, 30... 30 to... Well, about 20 to 30 UFCs, maybe a bit more. Then, the shift happens, where suddenly they can't submit these wrestlers anymore because they've learned how to not ever, like you know, leave an arm out there to be grabbed and all this stuff. So then the wrestlers dominate for the next five years. And then humans evolve again. And now we've got people who can't be taken down anymore. You can't you can't wrestle them, you can't get them down. And they are god level kickboxers. So you can't fight them on the feet, but you can't get them on the floor. So there's a period of that going on. You know, like your Anderson Silvers and stuff. They're too fast for everyone. And then you have like... Then it, then it changed again, right? Then the wrestlers become strong again. People like Khabib. And, uh, Colby Covington and stuff. And now... Now, like, UFC is at a point... Where it's not even worth betting on fights anymore. Because... It's almost, like, completely mapped out now. That's how I feel. Even a couple of years ago, you could still, like, get some crazy bets, right? Like, okay, I bet Nate Diaz is going to beat Conor McGregor in round two because Conor has no gas tank. He's fighting two weight classes above, so he's going to have even less gas tank. Nate isn't going to submit him because he doesn't bother with that. Uh, he's not going to KO him. it will probably get him on the floor, right? And, like, you know... Well, maybe we'll submit him on the floor or knock him out on the floor and make him tap. Those sort of times was worth betting, but nowadays, it's just not even worth it. Because, like, the person that's expected to win almost always does. It's finally... That's what I was trying to get to with this talk. It's finally got to that point where it's like, yeah, the guy that's supposed to win is winning like 99% of the time which is kind of it makes it a little bit more boring for me now like I watched Colby Covington versus Masvidal live and before it started I was like okay if Mas Masvidal lands that random, you know, shocking knockout, he's gonna win. If he doesn't, he's gonna be on the floor the whole time. Unable to get up. And that's what it was. But that, that's exactly what the fight ended up being. He landed like one shot, and he couldn't get off the floor. Fight over. And, and the odds, I checked the odds on the fight because I thought, you know, grudge match, rivals, you know, they're going to want to have some juicy bets. So I checked the odds. The odds of Colby Covington to win a decision, which he did, you'd have to bet £20 to win £1. Think how crazy that is. It's a 25 minute fight. 
with the two most insane dies, or two of the most insane dies. You're betting that it goes the distance, no submissions, no TKOs, no ref stoppages, no disqualifications, no draw, even though it's really rare. You're betting it goes the whole way and it's just a decision to this guy, right? And you have to bet all that money to win. Well, but what I'm trying to say is, like, the UFC is just... It's at that point now where it's like, yeah, the guy that's supposed to win does win. The only time it doesn't happen... Some sort of freak knockout. Some sort of injury. Or the guy is really nervous. You still get that. Happened to Derek Lewis in the Tai Tui Vasa fight. Just see he was like... Before the fight, I'm like, oh shit. Anyway, yo, what's up, Toby? Hey, Heavy K. Sorry, I just went on a tangent for like two stages, maybe one stage. I just miss the days of the UFC when you watch a fight and you're like, Oh my god, Conor McGregor versus Jose Aldo, what's gonna happen? Oh my god, Anderson Silva versus Chael Sonnen, is he gonna get wrestled? Oh my god, it was like, oh, what's gonna happen? Now when I watch an event, I'm just like, okay, who we got? We got Adesanya versus like Kelvin Gastelum, okay. Right, Adesanya's just gonna win because he's just better than him. He's better on the feet and you can't take him down and he's taller than you. It's over. Then you watch the fight. It's just not exciting. You just know the outcome already. <laughs> you just know, like... Okay, he's, he's longer range. He's been kickboxing for like 20 years. He's never... He's lost like one fight in kickboxing. And you're against a shorter guy who's got less reach, way worse boxing and kickboxing. You don't get that, like, excitement. You know what? The only time I do now is in heavyweights. Heavyweight fights. And light heavyweight. Because you never know, man. In heavyweight, one punch. One punch, it's just over. And it can come from either side. Whereas the heavyweight division was really boring for a long time in the UFC. <clears throat> it, it was resident sleeper for years. You got your pre and post USADA UFC era? So yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so like... Uberim and all that, and Chael Sonnen, and Sean Shirk, and so many people on steroids, it was ridiculous. You know what's the funniest thing, Tor? When you see them after the era, you look at Vitor Vita Belfort weigh-in pictures, pre-USADA, guy is absolutely ripped out of his mind. USADA drug testing turns up. Guy just looks like some fat dad at some kid's birthday party bouncing on a trampoline. And they all suck now as well. I noticed that as well. Soon as, uh, as soon as they're not allowed their drugs, terrible, they're rubbish. We can't do anything. <laughs> you must have noticed that, right? As soon as Alistair Overeem was off the uh, kangaroo meat, as he called his uh, drug testosterone levels being 20 times the limit was kangaroo meat as soon as he wasn't allowed that anymore rubbish garbage as soon as Chel Sonnen was off the juice couldn't do anything switched organizations who was, who was another one that was like just blatantly on everything who's another one
It's like streets after the pass. <laughs> well, all the steroids are gone. <laughs> uh, you're not enjoying boxing as much, especially heavyweight. Yeah, I enjoyed the, the Fury return when he was obese and an alcohol and cocaine addict. And he had to, like, overcome suicidal thoughts and lose, like, uh, you know, God knows how much weight. And then he beat Wilder. That, for me, was actually pretty insane to follow. But... Yeah, other than that, I don't really care about any of the heavyweights, to be honest with you. <laughs> Who the hell cares about Lewis Ortiz and Yusek and Joshua? The only thing I like about Joshua is that he's so overhyped, you always get good odds betting against him. Like the Andy Ruiz fight, Andy Ruiz knocked him out. The odds. 28 to 1 for Andy Ruiz to knock him out in any round. Just put a quid on that. Yep, 28 quid. And the odds are similar now. Like on Joshua's fights, if you ever look at his odds, it's like, what? This guy has no energy. He gets hit once and he loses. How are you giving him such ridiculous odds? Dylan White almost knocked him out. Vladimir Klitschko almost knocked him out in the 11th. Andy Ruiz did knock him out. And you're giving, like, ridiculous odds like it's Floyd Mayweather or something. It can't ever lose. This guy's, like, basically lost four times already, in my opinion. Anyway. <clears throat> I do like the lighter weight boxers, though. Got, I got to watch uh, Katie Taylor's fight with Serrano. Interested in that one. Do like both of those fighters. Just want Katie Taylor to get knocked out to see if she thanks God afterwards. Is this a new infinite? Is this a mid-air infinite? I think I just found a new infinite anyway. Um. Yeah. I can't stand people thanking God when they win. Because they never mention him when they lose. They win, they're like, yeah, I like to thank God. Yeah, uh, without him, this isn't possible. It's like, what about your wife and kids? Yeah, thank them as well. Uh, but without God, yeah, it's all God. And then they lose, never mentioned. You know, I'd like to blame God. Uh, <laughs> he's never brought up ever again until they win and then it's all him it's got nothing to do with the guy spending 40 hours a week training running dieting properly training with the right people doing the right stuff nah it was god mate can't stand it not that i've got a problem with god it's just uh just the athletes that i don't know why the athletes are so obsessed with it you won, dude. You won fair and square. Take the win. You did it. You're the one that, like, sacrificed everything. Not him. Okay. I can't do this. I dropped this combo. I'm blaming God on it. I'd like to blame God for dropping that combo. Blame this loss on the devil. <laughs> the damn devil got inside my head, Axel. He got in there and he messed up F them kids. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I love Chuck Liddell and Rampage Jackson, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some good fights in uh, Pride as well, right? 
Didn't Rampage knock him out in the UFC? I seem to remember just blue shorts and a bold head with a Mohican out cold on the floor. I'm pretty sure Rampage got him. I think Chuck beat him in Pride and then Rampage got revenge in UFC. So yeah, I like both of those guys as well. It's a bit sad watching Chuck fight Tito though when he was like 50 whatever years old. That was a bit rough to see. The Oscar de la Hoya promotions. Couldn't even remember the fighters' names. Rampage Slam knockout. What, in Pride on Jason, whatever his name is? Whatever. I think I know the one you're on about. The one where he lifts him like fully above his head. Yeah, I mean, it's impressive, right? That's what steroids can do to a fighter. Take them away. What happened to Rampage? Garbage. Absolute garbage. Couldn't do anything. Once the roids were gone, he was gone. Right? Off to Bellator you go. And that's it. You're in Bellator with all the other dads. <laughs> right? That's basically what it is. <laughs> there are some good people in Bellator though. Um, I think Michael Venom Page is insane. Uh, who else is in there? Who else in Bellator looks really good? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't really watch it. There's just no point when the UFC is there. In your country... He used to say the devil put his head, his tail. The devil put his tail. Wait, which country is that? Georgia. Near, near Argentina. Oh. Oh, you in South America. Nice. He was at the event in New Jersey, I'm guessing that, that is. Where John Jones defeated Shogun and won the belt the first time. Yeah, Shogun doesn't look the same now, but I don't know if that's to do with steroids, because he was never exactly, like, a huge jack fighter, right? Dude, John Jones. I don't know how long it'll be till we get another one of those. That guy, when he was first competing, has not seen anything like it to this day, how good that guy was. Remember him versus uh, Machida? He choked him out, stood up in like this weird guillotine angle. Dude, I used to love Machida the dragon. He was one of my favorite fighters. Front kick to the face, knockout on the natural Randy Couture. Uh, are we actually finishing the mod or not? Hold on. I mean the game. This isn't even a mod. <laughs> oh, Jesus, they stuck to you like a fly. You know when there's a fly buzzing around you and you can't quite get it, but it's always there? That's what the signal's like. Too many demons. 
Yeah, I think if you're that good at something and you just suddenly become famous, I think a lot of, well, not a lot of people, but we're not going to finish the mod. We're not, uh, the game, the game. We're not going to finish it. We're not going to finish it. I think a lot of people might go through the same thing he did. He used to live in his girlfriend's basement when he first joined the UFC. He was like broke as a joke. And then he starts destroying everyone. They're talking about him as the best ever instantly. And he obviously liked to party and stuff, so now he can buy all the cocaine he wants and it's bound to mess up a lot of people. What he what he's done though is just ridiculous. Like over the years, it's just and it's inexcusable. But I can see why it would happen. And it is a shame because <clears throat> when you get someone like that, you want to see them do the perfect career. You want to see them fight as regularly as they can. You know, get their wins, get their belts, retire on top. Which almost never happens. A fighter will either carry on, pass their prime and start losing. Or, or they retire and you feel like it's too early. I felt like that with Khabib. I feel like Khabib got away with losing that record, man. He got out real quick. He took out Poirier took out Gaethje and he was gone. Wait, you just got here, dude. Why are you retiring now? <laughs> I'm love I need to see more smash. I need to see more smash. No, nope, he's gone. Retired. We'll never know. Retired at 32 years old. Right? However what old he was. He wasn't, he wasn't any older than that, I don't think. He came from a very poor druggy town from upstate New York. What, John John did? Having to slug it a little bit just to finish the run here. You wanna fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul? <laughs> Do you guys like the Paul brothers in the boxing and that? <clears throat> I personally don't actually mind to be honest. I always like new stuff. And that whole YouTube boxing thing when KSI fought Logan Paul. <sighs> Too late, heart, I've won. Um, oh, he's gonna try it again, okay. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, man. Something about it. Remember when Floyd Mayweather fought uh, Takeshi Kenshin? I forget his name. Even that, I was like, yo, oh, so let's go, Floyd. <laughs> I'm tuning into that shit. I actually got my Facebook banned because of that fight. I uh, uploaded it and it got 4.3 million views in like two days. And then... Uh, after six months, Facebook noticed, and then I couldn't log in anymore. That's the end of that. Cheers, Floyd. Uh, oh, it's not over. I tell you what, it's not over. It's not over yet. <sighs> Oh, that's not going to work because you haven't got the health. 
Oh! 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 Oh, she's scary! This isn't over, boys! Trying to get the reset. What are you doing? Stay away from those statues. This ain't over. This ain't over. She, she wants it. Oh, she wants it bad. Oh, she's going for another one. No, welcome back, Annie. Welcome back, Stepsy. Cheers the raid, dude. What? Huh. Jesus Christ. Um, Tyson still has some moves. Watch his training videos. Yeah, he does, man. Yeah, he's, he's pretty ferocious on the bag. I actually really liked this fight with Roy Jones as well. I know everyone's going to be like, yeah, it was rubbish. Two old men. It was fake. I don't care. I enjoyed the exhibition. I thought they both did really well, like, for two, uh, you know, two old men. Like they actually take the train serious and all that. I don't like when the fighters just two schmoes off the street, but I, want, but I want to dislike Jake, but he keeps getting better. Yeah, he he will lose as soon as he fights someone that's good, though. Like, it's going to happen. I don't know if he'll fight anyone that that can happen with, though. But... He hasn't got the stamina for boxing. Even in the first Woodley fight, round three is just like... It's like this. Like the ropes are holding him up. Like, got, got, got the muscles, got the, got the strength, got the power. But three rounds and he is like... He is done. So as soon as he fights a boxer and go 12 rounds... I don't think it will uh, end well. Which is a shame, because I don't think you'll ever see it. I don't think he'd be stupid enough to do it. I don't know though, you never know with those, those guys. They're always doing crazy stuff, but... If you fight someone that can go the whole way... not over. It's not over. Even this robot wants a little bit of the action. Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh wait, we got the mace! What am I doing? This fight was going on so long I forgot I brought it. Fuck a punch! Oh, spinal. What happened tonight, Mike? My back is broken. What do you mean your back is broken? Is it a vertebrae or something? Uh, spinal. I love Mike Tyson. Not so much the bit where he's praising Allah and eating his opponent's babies. But the, uh, just the, the raw action side in the ring. Uh, GG, boys. We finally beat it with Estelle. Let's go. <clears throat> I think Jake Paul should fight Fury's cousin again. Like, there's already been publicized, I think they should just run it back. I think that'll be like the proper test for him, right? If you beat this guy, okay, okay, okay. 
They're beating an old man, Ben Askren, who's just had two hip operations and can't walk without looking like he shit his pants. And then you beat Tyron Woodley, who's someone that just literally spent his whole career with his back against the cage. Throwing one punch returns. Not good enough, man. It's not a good enough resume. You need he still needs that one fight where you're like, oh shit, okay, he just he just knocked out Fury's cousin. For me anyway. Not that I dislike the guy. I I've been watching all his fights. I'm on the train. Um but yeah, he needs to beat that one guy and then everyone can shut up. I just don't think he'll have the gas tank to compete with someone the same size as him that's been doing it since they were a kid. Anyway, GG! GG, boys. Tyson's almost 60, he still moves like he did in his early career. Yeah, he's still got the... The Dempsey roll or whatever his tech is. Funniest thing you've heard about with all this, Logan Paul did that fight with Floyd and apparently Floyd still hasn't paid him. Yeah, I don't know about that. Cheers for the GGJ dot talk hammer Jack Rooms Pedrito Dead Money Seeker Trez Any Cam uh, Steps he Bill vs Chackers in what? In a 1v1? Any day that he wants a 1v1 him any day of the week. At any time, if he rings me at 3 a.m. and I'm in bed with Mrs. Bill, I will get up, turn on the computer, put the lights on, um, I'll log in, I'll hit the stream, and we will go. Whenever he wants it, I'm ready to go. You got me, you got me all ready now. You got me ready. Come on, Chackers, log in. Wakey, wakey, get up. I know you're in bed with your phone and your head, your earpiece in, your earphones. Get in there, it's battle time. <laughs> He's always napping, Anakin. What are you on about? He's always napping. He's not even there now. Even, look, even though he's typing in chat, he's not actually awake. He's like that. He's, he's like this at his desk. He's tapping away. These are just these are just signals going out. He's not even awake. Awake. He's not even awake. Yeah, get off that Elden horse. He's on the bed. <laughs> He's on the bed. <laughs> nah, we'll we'll have a one v one somewhere. I still want to do that one v one tournament, but no one entered. I think it was only Mad Zero who said he would. Well, someone said they would. And no one uh, entered, so we scrapped it. <clears throat> anyway, t uh, other news. Tournament at the end of the month. I don't know what we're doing yet. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're doing yet. Whether it's easy, whether it's Mania, whether it's Mania Plus, or whether it's something completely different that I haven't thought of yet. But put it in your calendars, boys. 25th... Is it the 25th? 25th. Next Friday. I could do it on the Thursday on the 31st, but it's always been on a Friday. So we'll do it next Friday. 25th. Hey Splash, what's up? Do a third strike tourney? Nah, because then we'll get all the third strike goblins smurfing in here and joining it. I can't be having any third strike goblins in here, boys. Did we have a mania poll for next tourney or was that something else? Uh, we haven't done any polls yet. We'll do that stuff closer to the event. We'll do all that closer. First time of Estelle, there it is. 1 hour 25. Uh, yeah, I like the character, sort of. 
I need to play her a bit more, but yeah. I bet she's quite rewarding when you can play her properly and you can like have 10 different ways to set up the grenades. I've seen Nevermore carrying enemies across the screen with the grenades. That looks really funny. But uh, yeah, she's not as bad as I thought, but she definitely needs some damage buffs. Uh, yeah. GG, that's it. We've done all the achievements. On to the next achievement, which is V8.